we have the pleasure to be uh, with one of our great elders. So with all the respect, so I need to ask the permission for me to talk first. So I already talked, but I need to ask the permission. Yeah, my permission. Okay, great. Starting by, uh, how, how do you see the, uh, our behavior nowadays when it comes to health? Because it seems like, are we been looking after our body, our spirit? That's the question that of us, our brothers and sisters. Do we been look our body? Do, do we been taking care of our body enough, our spirit? In your humble opinion, uh, what we take care of is that our physical appearance. Do we appear healthy going to the gym, jogging? Our appearance, the icing on the cake. Taking care of our internal organs. Not doing that. So, 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 what, what is that cause? Obviously, is that ignorance or? Because you're, you're, you're being one of our great, uh, great scholar, one of our great doctor in terms of advices, how do we have to conduct ourselves in terms of body, in terms of uh, health, why are we not following your footsteps? Because we, you, you laid the foundation. You are I'm one of our great scholars, all of our great scholars. You laid the foundation. Why are we not following your footsteps? It's because they upgrade, our enemy upgrades their techniques the marketing of themselves. So we just go for the marketing of something called democracy or socialism. That's marketing. It never existed. Mm -hmm. We're still on the planet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, the marketing they have is tremendous. Uh, talking, about, talking about controlling out the planet Earth, whoever controls Africa controls the economy around the world and controls the Earth. You know, That's to correct. To some extent. Correct. So do you reckon, do you reckon we gonna be out, out. They gonna take over because right now we having different attacks coming from all over the all over the place. Do you reckon Chinese they will prevail and take over the? the they just gonna do what the Europeans are doing. Europeans own Africa. Now the Chinese want their share. It's the same thing. It's just a different flavor of ice cream. We don't have to invent anything new, we just have to go back into our culture. Our key to this thing is to be out in our culture. Wow. So 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 talk, talking about talking about our culture. We not re, we not we, we haven't been embraced our culture as we're supposed to be. Because we, we're trying to follow the mm. the Western way of life rather than embracing our own self, our own culture. Uh, and then I'm talking about worldwide. Are we've been doing enough? Are we been passed on the torch, especially the elders? Are we, the elders, do you reckon they've been passed on the torch in order to educate our brothers and sisters all over the world to understand about our culture? The thing is that they control the media. So you're going into another system of white supremacy when you say controlling it. That's the media. They control that. They control textbook industry. It's not just newspapers. The textbooks are controlled by them. So they control media, and we're walking, talking the stuff about controlling Earth. Hell, they gone to another grade this thing already. It's, yeah. it's not a, a challenging thing. The more you get in your culture, the more free you'll be. It's very simple. So, uh, what is your thoughts about all these uh, fabricated disease, man-made disease? They've been sending over to Africa. They, they've been, they've been, uh, they've been throwing us with different diseases in Africa. They're trying to finish our our race so what what is your thoughts about it because they've been pe people they still not believing Ebola and HIV is created by somebody in lab in, in the lab to try to eradicate our race what is your this thoughts is about nothing it? new everything is a tool of oppression to our oppressor it can be food it can be education if they oppress us <coughs> everything's a tool for them to oppress you with this is nothing new with them and and their techniques, we just think this is a new invasion and this, no, it's nothing new. They're just warming over, up some old grits. That's about all they're doing. I don't see them as any threat to us at all if we claim our culture. So everything starts with our culture? Oh yeah, that's how you see the world, through your culture. I'm already enslaved because they want me to see the world with these glasses on. 2020 vision is a white thing. I'm seeing the world as a white person, not as an African person. Every race has a different vision, visual dichotomy. This is looking at the world white. That's why I'm wearing these white damn glasses. I don't have to go far to see what they're doing. 
And we just don't see all of that. Wow. wow. That's why I like white toilet paper in my house. Uh, it's such an amazing, uh, Dr. Lila, to be here with you and just to share and to interact with you to learn more about what you have to offer to our people because it's extremely important, not only our brothers and sisters in America, but especially in the motherland mm -hmm. and Europe. They need to drink and swallow your wisdom just so they can understand mm -hmm. uh, the struggle of our ancestors. And then you've been the one that will be passing on the the, the, the knowledge through the books, through the lectures, yeah. through your work uh, in our community. So that's why on my behalf and on behalf of our people, a lot of, of our followers, I wanted to commend you for that. Yeah, so for the work that you've been doing, uh, because talking about you, we're talking about Dr. Sebi, all of our great ancestors that, oh, yeah. that laid the foundation for us to be uh, here in this present moment right now. So. Uh, a message to, to all of our melanated black people all over the world. Mm. Embrace your culture. Kwanzaa, the clothing, the dancing, the singing, embrace your culture and it will lead you back home. Wow, wow. And then it is about time for us to go back. So uh, oh yeah. Long due. Our library card has already expired. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Long due. Because that, that's one of the things that I really Africa too. People are afraid to go back. People are afraid to embrace their Africanity. Mm -hmm. So what, what is all thought about it? Because people are afraid. People are afraid, oh, if I go back, I, am I going to be bite by the mosquito? Uh, but they don't understand that they've been killing us here. Oh, yeah. the West already. Mm -hmm. So what is your thoughts about our, our, some of our brothers and sisters? They're afraid to go back to our base because we need to build our base. Yeah, for people who've never been there before going back, the Japanese, the Chinese, the white people, everybody's going back. I mean, go back. <laughs> <laughs> so it is about go back. Yeah. Because, because one thing I've noticed, Chinese, they got a base, which is China. Mm -hmm. European, they got a base, which is mm -hmm. Europe. But we failing to build our own base, which is Africa. Yeah. We're not asking everybody to just go over there and leave, but at least just go and help. And that's exactly what you've been doing. You've just been in Gamb uh, Gambia? Gambia, yes. You've just been in Gambia. So, and people felt amazing about your work, your wisdom. Mm -hmm. So, what, 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 what message are you sending to our brothers and sisters who are still afraid to understand that we have to go and build our base? Yes. Well, we're going to lose a lot of people in this war. Wars always have a high degree of casualties. So some of these coconuts, I mean, some of these black people are just going to be a casualty of war. We have to accept that. Wow. They might as just stay here in the West. Wherever they want to rot, let them stay there and rot. Wow. <laughs> so uh, it's such an amazing uh, Dr. Lily Africa to be here. And then, again, uh, we're going to be possible to put this interview all over the place, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and in our radio platform as well. But keep follow, keep embrace your culture, and especially being connected with our elders. Being connected with our, with our elders, embrace our elders. That's all I have to say. Uh, peace and blessings, and Alpha Quabo bringing this interview with one of our great scholars, one of our great elders, Dr. Laila Africa. Thank you.